हेलो एवरीवन माय सेल्फ मयंक शुक्ला फाइनल ईयर स्टूडेंट ऑफ सिविल इंजीनियरिंग डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ फैकल्टी ऑफ इंजीनियरिंग एंड टेक्नोलॉजी यूनिवर्सिटी ऑफ लखनऊ आई एम हियर फॉर द सेमिनार प्रेजेंटेशन ऑन क्रैक्स रिपेयर एंड प्रिवेंशन ऑफ बिल्डिंग क्रैक्स अंडर द गाइडेंस ऑफ जितेंद्र इंजीनियर जितेंद्र प्रताप सिंह सो फर्स्ट कम टू द कॉन्टेंट पार्ट हेयर इज द कॉन्टेंट cases of building cracks types of cracks in wall types of cracks in rcc frame structure repair of cracks how to prevent cracks in buildings and general measure for protection of cracks cases of building cracks are mainly chemical reaction in construction material climate condition of nature foundation movement and setting of building environmental stress bad quality of material and wrong method of construction they are the mainly cases of building cracks hence the figure of uh, cases uh, cracks in building causes of crack shrinkage excessive water the quantity of water used in the mortar mix can can cause shrinkage prevention use minimum quantity of water required for the required for mixing according to the water cement ratio quantity of cement do not use excess cement in the mortar mix during the hardening of cement take place cases re reduction in mortar and create shrinkage this case cracks in concrete work prevention proper curing should be start as soon as initial setting has take place and must be curing for the least 7 to 10 days cracks due to the shrinkage in roof foundation movement and settlement of soil as cases cracks large different large differential settlement of foundation due to the following cases an equal bearing pressure under the dif different parts of structure bearing pressure being in excess of safe bearing structure of the soil low low factor of safety in the design of foundation and local variation in the nature of supporting soil diagonal cracks in wall wide at bottom and narrow at top here is the figure and uh, this cases due to differential settlement due to the due to ex expansion of clay soil by absorbing water and remedies foundation should be deep and plinth protection should be provided vertical crack in long wall cases due to no expansion joint at proper interval remedies leave expansion or construction joint at a regular interval vertical cracks at junction of wall causes improper bonding of cross wall by not leaving proper keys in the main remedies both wall must be properly bonded by 
proper touching to them cracks in panel wall in rcc frame structure cases rcc beam are not free to deflect remedies gap should be left between the top of panel wall can be filled with weak mortars horizontal cracks in the topmost story below slab cases deflection of slab and lifting up of ends remedies appropriate bearing arrangement of slabs diagonal cracks in panel wall in rcc frame structure cases deflection or movement of rcc structure remedies wall should not be built properly tightly to the columns repair of cracks first repair of cracks gives hollow sound remove plaster applying proper cut prepare the surface properly and apply the fresh cement mortar and finish the surface repair second one is uh, repair cracks in if it is solid without hollow sound clean cracks properly of all loss mortar and fill cracks seal sealants in crack properly finally finish the surface around around to the adjoint area here is the figures to fill the crack hollow or how to prevent cracks in buildings drain arrangement should be made around the building to minimize the water entry in the foundation avoid construction of wall on field up soil avoid tree crawl to the close to the building and compound wall general measure for cracks protection of cracks selection of material specification for mortar and concrete good construction particles weather effects thank you is my presentations over